Hey, this is uh, Y Pinto. I am taking another crack at the uh, newly redesigned Pit in the Pendulum map by uh, Democles. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this is more to show my solution to the map. Uh, it's getting, it's pretty tight. So um, I, I think most of these things are the intended solution, but we'll see. Uh, this one I wasn't quite sure if this is the intended solution. But uh, that's a pretty easy way to get the cube there that I found. We'll uh, make our way across here. Now, pressing this button, I love that you moved this so I can see that when I press this, this happens there. Uh, also, all of the lines that you now show uh, are pretty handy. So I do like that uh, you're showing those lines. Let's hope I do this with enough time. Uh, I will tell you that... One of the things that aggravates me more than anything else is when there's a timer counting down and I have to get something done in a certain amount of time. Now, <laughs> I know that's kind of my limitation, but uh, yeah, not a big deal. Uh, but like I said, I do love all these lines, kind of getting a Tron look going on here. And th this part of the puzzle actually took me a little while to figure out, and that's because you're flipping plate here uh, in more ways than one. Uh, but no, that was actually a really clever thing. Might try and think of a way to use that in one of my puzzles in the future. So then we take the laser cube over here. Oh, I'm oh, sure, sure I dropped it out. Oh, there you go. Take the cube over here. Uh, if you wanted to make these just a little bit wider so that I don't have to prance around the, uh, the jumps. And by the way, uh, adding more jumps, super awesome. I, uh, I definitely love... Uh, that. Nope, and it looks like uh, one of the blocks got misaligned here. So we'll fly back. Uh, here's another part where you could maybe move the platform just a little bit because I feel like I'm really kind of weaseling in here to to get this laser on this pad here. Oh, but of course, it's crooked. So here's where the uh, zoom comes in real handy. Uh, again, I really love the plates for getting around. This was kind of a cool one too, just whoop! Oh, never mind. Uh, so that was pretty clever. Get the goo going here. Gonna jump down. Now, this part still confuses the heck out of me. Uh, one thing I'd throw out there is having this and this both on a timer just make things uh, really stressful. <laughs> we'll put it that way. And I don't know if it... Uh, and the other thing is I can't figure out what these two things are for. I don't know what you're really going for. Uh, but I'll show you what I kind of found as my solution. I actually start this first get the uh, portal here, get that falling, and then when this flips down, that lets a whole bunch of goo get up in here. So now that this is covered in goo, can jump up here, press the button, light bridge across, have to go back and get uh, realign the laser cube here. And then we get to use uh, my favorite part of your puzzle again to uh, get back around here. So I really like that uh, almost all of the elements in your puzzle is used more than once. I think that's kind of a mark of a good puzzle is different things take on meaning the further down the puzzle you get. Uh, so let's see here, I got my orange portal there. So we'll keep moving on this direction. And then I'm just going to drop through here and bounce to the other side. Oh dear. Well, that didn't work. Is there any way I can quickly get back there? Yeah. So I got the blue. Hmm. 
Okay. So let's try this again. So we're going to fly back here. Hit this. To get us going the other direction. Uh, blue one there. Orange one there. And then we're going to use the orange one again to, uh, once this flips polarity. There we go. Still love that flipper right there. Okay, going for it. Boing! There we go. So yeah, that was that was pretty cool, and I got that a little bit better. Uh, again, that middle part, I, don't, I can't think of what those two plates are for. So I don't know if you just want to drop them. And then um, the other the other big one was the blue goo, the door that blocks the goo, the flipper. Uh, just have that permanently down once you press that button, because having to do two timed things at once, uh, at least in that respect, seemed really tough. Other than that, uh, some cool concepts. Still like to see all those ideas maybe in a smaller map. And uh, I feel a little bad for the second laser cube, because that uh, second laser cube doesn't really end up getting used in the in the final solution. So uh, that was what I felt was the most intended solution uh, for the pit and the pendulum by Democles. Uh, you know, he can definitely uh, uh, definitely let me know if there's something else you were thinking, or uh, redesign it a little bit more so that uh, it forces the intended solution. But yeah, uh, very cool. So yeah, fix that. I don't know what those plates are. I don't even know if they're necessary unless it's a timing thing. Uh, but leave this thing down once you press it, because man, having to press that and just keep bouncing back and forth was really <laughs> a little aggravating. Uh, but the final bounce felt super satisfying. Uh, so yeah, well done. Uh, I like that.